There are some things that certain older men just seem to get when it comes to dating younger women. And I'm gonna share their secrets with you today. I'm also gonna let you in on the mistakes that they most frequently make so that you can learn from them and avoid the pain and embarrassment to get right to the good stuff. In this video, I'll be sharing the five things that older men get right and the five that they get wrong about dating younger women. But first, let me set the stage. You see, my client Sean was recently divorced. He was ready to get back on the scene, but he wasn't so sure of himself because, you know, he realized dating and relationships have changed a lot in the years that he spent away building his business and providing for his family. He just doesn't feel like he understands the current dating landscape. And it wasn't exactly easy back then when he was in his 20s. And sure, a lot has changed. Sean was out of practice and out of his element. So, he got me and we got to work. We sent Sean up with an online dating profile and he wanted to set the search to include women that were up to 15 years younger than him. I mean, it's pretty common to see older men dating and sleeping with younger women, so why not? It sounded intriguing, but he was nervous. He was already rusty when it comes to dating and now he's got an age gap to contend with? I mean, come on. Well, I'm gonna share with you what I told him, which is that it doesn't have to be hard because the techniques that make older men successful with younger women, both in dating and between the sheets, are things that you can learn. And these are the things that truly separate the boys from the men, the more mature men. <laughs> and in this video, I'm gonna share why some men have so much success with younger women and why others, despite their looks, money, or charm, completely f it up. Now let's clear up some misconceptions. No matter how old or frumpy or overweight or brokenhearted you feel, if you are an older guy, you deserve to have a great sex life. And whether that's with a woman your own age or not, you can have a successful dating and romantic life. I mean, that's what this channel is all about. But that amazing life is not gonna just create itself. You've gotta get into the seat, take back the wheel and drive. By taking control of yourself and your desires, you can build Build up the confidence and self-esteem required to take this particular bull by the horns. Now I've worked with many older gentlemen in my coaching career, some of whom have gone through pretty nasty divorces. And of course that left them feeling emotionally tattered. I mean, some of these guys also have never had a long-term relationship at all. So they feel like they are at a lack of experience. But I promise you, no matter what your situation, as long as you are still breathing, there is hope. And I'm about to share with you my step-by-step -step guide for getting yourself back out there and giving the gift that is you to the women of this world. And even if you're married or you're in a relationship or you're a younger guy who's watching and just wants to get a girlfriend, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. All of the advice that I'm sharing here applies to all male-female dynamics. I'm just taking some of the unique lessons that I've learned from my silver fox friends and clients and applying them here in a clear and easy way to understand. So let's count down the top five things that older men get wrong about dating younger women. Number five, they put women on a pedestal. Let's get one thing straight. If you are looking up at her, she's automatically looking down at you. So don't lose track of who the prize is here. Older guys have the status, power, maturity, wisdom, and lived experiences that only age can grant. So let her impress you and don't feel like it has to be the other way around. Let your mature qualities speak for themselves. And this isn't about enforcing a power dynamic between you. This is about feeling confident. If you zoom all the way out, all adult people are created equal, right? We all have things to give and to learn from each other. And our differences are what makes relationships so fun. So approach her like you're on a level playing field and you'll be setting yourself up for success. Number four, they lead with their money. Yeah, money is nice, but if that's all you're putting on offer, then all you're gonna get are transactional sugar baby type relationships. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but if that's not what you're looking for, it's important to be clear about your intentions from the start. Sure, financial security is an attractive feature to prospective partners, but it's just one of many. And for a real relationship to occur, you need to be a real human and not an ATM machine. Look, it's like fishing. If money is the bait, then the only bites you're going to get is gonna be gold diggers. And whether you're rolling in dough or not, it's important to note that money doesn't make up for a lack of personality, humor, or genuine human connection. So if you don't have much of a personal life because you've been working and building a family for 20 years and all you've got to show is money, then it's time for you to get some hobbies. Women don't wanna be the center of your world. They want to have a partner who has a rich and interesting life that they can be a part of. And if your life isn't very exciting, then why would a young woman in particular want to be a part of it? Fortunately for you, you are in the best position to fix this, and I'll share more on that in just a minute. First, number three, they feel insecure about their age. You might feel less than great about your looks, 
for your aging body. Physically, you might not be able to compete with men her age. That's true. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be putting in some effort. Look, she doesn't expect you to look like a 27 year old personal trainer, but she does expect you to live like you have a spark inside of you, to feel alive, to take care of yourself. So hit the gym, cut carbs, quit drinking, start doing Pilates, hiking, weightlifting. Just go for a daily walk if you're starting from nothing. It will be good for you in all kinds of ways, including your mental health and your testosterone production. And look, if getting with a younger woman is what inspires you to take care of yourself, then go for it. But understand that the best, most effective growth comes from doing it for yourself. So take excellent care of you and you'll both see that you are a prize. If your age is starting to impact your ability to get and stay hard in the bedroom, then I suggest you check out my course, Hard As You Want, where I break down how to get harder and longer lasting erections that are consistent, which is an important trait if you are looking to keep up with a younger woman. Mistake number two, they present themselves as a guide, mentor, or teacher. This is just a surefire way to make sure that you end up in the friend zone, which I know controversial subject, see my video on that if you want my insights. Okay, so maybe you hide your real intent because you're just uncomfortable with being forthcoming. So instead you approach her by putting yourself out as someone who can help her with her career or with her other goals. So she opens up to you and she starts to relate to you in that way. And then you try to turn it into something else and end up creeping her out and crossing a boundary. Look, it is manipulative to present yourself in one way and then change it. To counter this, disrupt that dynamic by being honest about your interest in her. If there's chemistry there and she's a clear yes, then you can start escalating the relationship and move on from friendly to flirty. On the flip side, if you are just a good person and you are in a position to be a mentor, then supporting this young woman in a platonic way might actually be helpful for you both. Remember, not all of your relationships with women need to be sexual or romantic in order to be beneficial. She might have friends who are interested in you, or she might just add a little zest into your otherwise boring life. Being friends with people of different ages and genders enriches your life in ways that you cannot expect. So around and find out. And now the number one thing that older men get wrong, they let their baggage rule the day. Remember my client, Sean, from the intro? Well, his wife frequently complained that he didn't buy her enough gifts. So what did Sean do when he got out on the playing field? He made it rain gifts. He brought bouquets to dates. He bought her jewelry early on. He always had something for her all of the time. I mean, the man was never without a gift in his hand and it was exhausting for him. I mean, look, it's cute if gift giving is both of your love languages, but it wasn't authentic to him and it was overwhelming for the women he was seeing. Guys, bringing baggage from your previous marriage or long-term relationship, like whatever your former wife nagged you about, where you felt that you fell short, the things that caused your previous relationship to die. These are things that you have to work on, maybe with a coach, maybe me and one of my coaching team, in order to get you out of those old patterns. Look, if you bring those into your future relationship, relationships, you're going to end up doing the same thing that you did in your previous relationships. So learn from those mistakes. Don't repeat them and don't overcorrect. Look, don't be too hard on yourself here. All of us are being held back in ways that we're not even conscious of. Like we don't know what we don't know. So if you think that's you, consider signing up for a free one hour long consultation with me or one of my coaches so that we can take a deep dive into your baggage and help you discover and move beyond what's keeping you back. The link to apply for that hour long call is in the description below. On that note, let's talk about what old Older men get right when it comes to younger women. Number five, they lean on their advantages. With age comes wisdom and a whole lot else. And if you're older, you probably have more status, connections, and experience. You know the kinds of things that she's not gonna have, nor will men her age have. You might have your own taste and you've refined it over years. You can show her a world that she would not be able to access on her own or by dating one of her peers. This is what sets you apart. Between personal experiences, relationship know-how, access to cool and interesting things, you are the total package when it comes to entering into a relationship with someone a little bit younger. And remember, even if you feel rusty in certain departments, experience counts for something. Number four thing they get right, they move slow. Look, young bucks can be fun and energetic and often they come with abs, but they're not necessarily great lovers. Older men
men, on the other hand, understand that good things take time and so they're less likely to rush. Seduction and foreplay are an art and most younger men don't know that yet, so use it to your advantage. If you don't feel like you know what you're doing or you were in a sexless marriage or you generally lack experience, guess what? You can learn. Subscribe to this channel, check out all of my courses in the link below, check out my link for my Yoni massage course. I swear to God, that's gonna set you apart from everyone that she's ever been with or will ever be with. All right, number three, they're self-sufficient. By default, by being older, you probably have a handle on some things. You look, you might not always feel like it, but trust me, you have your act together more than the average 20 something man. For example, you might have more experience communicating. You might know how to advocate for yourself or to respect boundaries. You already know that you can rely on yourself and you don't need a relationship to have a sense of confidence. You've already made your way in the world, at least for a while, and you've discovered that you can make it on your own. That means that you're not going to demonstrate the kind of needy behaviors that make men so unattractive. And by showing off your self-sufficiency, you're going to foster a sense of attraction because she'll recognize the emotional security that only someone like you can offer. And this is going to give her a sense of trust and safety and desire. Number two, they keep their cool under pressure. Remaining calm in times of crisis is hot. It is an aphrodisiac in itself. And by demonstrating a sense of self-control and critical thinking and not getting flustered when she does, you set yourself apart from those with a shakier sense of self. Through establishing safety in the face of a challenge, you instill a sense of confidence that you can hold down things both in your day-to-day -day life and in bed. Like I have a friend who's married to a man who's 15 years older than her, and he is a godsend in an emergency. We were at an event together where I threw my car keys into a porta potty and I'd even like I literally I don't know what happened. I just whoop, I like wailed them into this porta potty and I was panicked. So I ran directly to him for help. He instructed me to go get a trash bag and use it around my arm and dig around in there for the keys, which by the way, it worked. And he stood steady and calm by my side the entire time. My guys, it was hot. <laughs> All right, number one thing that older guys get right is they don't play games. Here's what I said to Sean. The older men who get with younger women and more importantly succeed with them don't play games. They're straightforward. They understand what makes them attractive. They share generously and without expectation. They respect the women that they're with. They don't try to manipulate. They don't do shit tests. They don't follow the advice of like dating experts or pickup artists like negging or waiting a certain number of days to call or playing hard to get or whatever. They already know themselves and what works for them both inside and outside of the bedroom. And they're open to discovering more. By balancing cool, calm confidence and open-minded curiosity, they truly become the most interesting man in the room. And that is magnetic for women of all ages. Now, the good news is that Sean and Ended up successfully dating a few younger women and so can you. Avoid the mistakes of the men who have come before you, follow in the footsteps of those who have succeeded, and you will find yourself balls deep in a quality relationship with a woman who loves you for who you are in no time. And if you want help, you know where to find me and my coaches. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I will see you here next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.